جون 21 variant 2 um, catalase is an enzyme found in living cells it catalyzes the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide to form water and oxygen this is an investigation about enzymes in this investigation a ciliary extract was used as a source of catalase uh, take care and we didn't use pure catalase enzyme we didn't use pure catalase no we used ciliary extract as a source of catalase the student investigated the effect of catalase concentration on the rate of uh, oxygen production what am i going to investigate the effect of catalase concentration then this is the changed variable this is the factor i'm going to change the student made five different concentrations of ciliary extract by diluting the ciliary extract by 50 percent diluting the ciliary extract by 50 percent so dilution by 50 percent means that the concentration will decrease by 50 percent Five beakers labeled A, B, C, D, and E. Ten cubic centimeter measuring cylinder was used, and I put in it ten cubic centimeter of the ciliary extract. The same measuring cylinder was used to transfer five cubic centimeter of the extract from beaker A to beaker B. I took five cubic centimeter from the first beaker, and I put it in beaker B um okay same measuring cylinder was used to transfer five cubic centimeter of the ciliary extract from a to b and then the same measuring cylinder was used to add water same measuring cylinder used to transfer five cubic centimeter from b to z to c and then i added five water and then i took five from c to d and then i added water five from d to e and then i added water okay he asked you to find the concentration in C. Find the concentration in C. Tab, how am I going to get it? Ma, we said that he will dilute by 50%. This is 100. This will decrease by half. So it will be 50. Decrease by half, 25. Decrease by half, 12.5. And then 6.25. These are the concentrations I prepared. Okay, small filter paper discs were dipped into the ciliary extract. After I prepared the five different concentrations, I put filter paper discs in the ciliary extract. The paper disc dipped in A was placed into a test tube and pushed to the bottom with a glass rod. A syringe was used to put 18 cubic centimeter of 1% hydrogen peroxide. This is my substrate. I'm going to put the same volume of hydrogen peroxide into all test tubes and the same concentration of hydrogen peroxide. Therefore, this is a constant variable. The volume and concentration is a constant variable. Okay, what are the results I'm recording? The filter paper has ciliary extract, which has catalase enzyme. The catalase enzyme will break down the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. The oxygen gas bubbles will make the paper float. So, I will record the time taken for the paper disc to rise to the surface. Of course, if you have a high concentration of catalase, the paper will rise quickly. If there is a low concentration of catalase, the paper will rise slowly. This is the results I am measuring. This is my dependent variable. Step eight and nine were repeated using the paper discs uh, in the other ciliary extracts, and the time taken for each paper to rise was given. This is my results. This is my dependent variable. Okay. The first thing is prepare a table to record the results. Record all the times in seconds. 
Of course, when he asks about the time, he asks you to record it in seconds. So you have to change the minutes to seconds. Change variable is on the left side of the table, which is the concentration of catalase, 150, 25. Where did I get them? I got them from this percentage concentration of catalase. The results, the results uh, is the time taken for the paper to rise in seconds. Here, I got them from the figure he gave me. Okay, what is the conclusion? The higher the concentration of catalase, the less time it took for the paper to rise. If I get the concent I get the conclusion from the uh, numbers in front of me. As the concentration increases, the paper rises more quickly. It took less time. Okay. Identify the variable that was changed, my independent variable. What did I change in this experiment? I already marked here catalase concentration. I changed the concentration of the enzyme. So this is what, um, I, what I changed, concentration of catalase. What is my dependent variable? What is my result? The time taken for the uh, paper to rise. Okay. The oxygen gas produced forms bubbles on the paper disc. The bubbles causes the disc to rise to the top of the hydrogen peroxide. The time taken can be used to calculate the rate. Rate of reaction or the speed of the reaction. How do I calculate the rate? If, uh, how can I calculate the rate? I will measure the distance the paper traveled over a time to see how fast it went up, okay, the rate. So I will measure the distance traveled by the paper and then I will divide it by the time taken. Identify one source of error in step four. One source of error in step four. Let's go back to step four. Use the same measuring cylinder to transfer and extract. What is the source of error? What is the error itself? As we said, using the same measuring cylinder. This is a an error because it might cause contamination, which means that it might mix the solutions together. Okay, this is the source of error. You should use separate measuring cylinder or wash the measuring cylinder. Describe a suitable control for this investigation. Here, he's not asking for a controlled variable. Controlled variable means constant variable. Uh, yani we can make the temperature constant. We can make the pH constant. Okay? This is not a controlled. He doesn't want a controlled variable. He wants a control investigation, control experiment. Which means that you repeat the same experiment, but without the enzymes. You can use water instead of the ciliary extract, or you can use boiled enzyme. Okay. Sodium chloride, sodium chloride affects the activity of catalase. Sodium chloride affects the activity of catalase. The enzyme catalase breaks down hydrogen peroxide to release water and oxygen. Plan an experiment to determine the effect of sodium chloride concentration. I want to find the effect of sodium chloride concentration. Therefore, what am I going to change? I'm going to change the sodium chloride concentration. And I will uh, measure the volume of oxygen gas produced. I want to measure the volume of oxygen gas produced. Okay. Um, there are two ways in this experiment to measure the results. Either you can measure the results just like he gave you, soaking the paper in catalase, but it will be the uh, same concentration. You will just change the sodium chloride. And you will measure the time taken for the paper to rise. Or you can measure a different result. You can measure the volume of oxygen gas produced. How are you going to measure the volume of oxygen? Using a gas syringe. So let's see. If I'm going to follow my steps. 
How many test tubes should you get? The more the better. I can use five test tubes, okay? I will put in each different concentration of sodium chloride. This is my changed variable. So what should I put the same? Everything else should be the same. Same temperature, same concentration of ciliary extract, okay? Same uh, volume of hydrogen peroxide and concentration of hydrogen peroxide, same pH, everything should be the same. What is my dependent variable? What are the results you are going to measure? Either you will say that you will put the filter paper in the ciliary extract, put it inside and measure the time taken. You can say uh, the same way that he gave you. Or you can say that you will measure the volume of oxygen produced in five minutes using a gas syringe. What is my improvement? Since you will put it in the same temperature, use thermostatically controlled water bath, wear goggles as a safety precaution, re repeat the experiment three times, and calculate an average. Uh, the enzyme catalase is a protein. What is the test for protein? Food tests. Reagent for protein is the birate reagent. What is the positive re result for protein? It is the purple color. Purple color. Okay. Question number two, the photograph shows a leaf from the European holy tree. Draw a large diagram of the holy leaf. As we said, it has to be single clear lines. You do not color anything. It has to be a big drawing. Um, you have to, as much as possible, draw the same number of prickles. We have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, small 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So as much as possible, to try to draw the same pattern. And then you will put the main vein as double lines in the middle and small veins, um, side veins as much as possible, uh, like the drawing. And this how this is how it should look like. This is how it should look like, as much as possible, similar to the drawing, but bigger. Do not label. He does not le need labels here. After the drawing, he will give you a magnification question. The line PQ shows the length of the leaf. Measure the line PQ using your ruler. It will give me 7 centimeters, which is... 70 millimeter. Include the unit. You have to write the unit next to the number or else you will lose a mark. Draw a line on your drawing in the same position. In the same position. So you will draw a line from here to here. And measure your drawing. Each of you will get a different number according to his drawing, but it should be bigger than the original image. I will write my number with the unit millimeter and then calculate the magnification of your drawing. So it will be 70 over your measured drawing. It will give you the magnification. Uh, it's the other way around. I mixed up the numbers. It's supposed to be image over the actual image uh, of your drawing. What you drew. Okay, which is this number over the actual size is the original image over 70. So it will give you the magnification. How big is your drawing? I have a question. Okay. Students investigated the relationship between the number of prickles on the holy leaves and the height of leaves above the ground. The student collected leaves from five trees. I have five trees okay the student took the leaves from seven different heights on each tree on each of these five trees he took leaves from seven different heights okay one two three four five six seven seven different heights on each a tree he collected ten leaves 
from each height. This means he collected 10 leaves from each height on this tree, 10 leaves from each height on this tree, 10 leaves from each height on this tree. Wahakath. And then he counted the number of prickles on each of the leaves, calculated the average number of prickles per leaf at each height. Okay, this is the heights he collected from. He asked you to get the average number at the height 2 meters. He counted a total of 614 prickles. How can you get the average number? You have to count the number of leaves. How many leaves did he collect at 2 meters? 2 meters, Dhena, he took 10 leaves. 2 meters, he took 10 leaves. 2 meters, 10 leaves. 2 meters, 10 leaves. 2 meters, 10 leaves. At the height of 2 meters, he took 10 leaves from each tree. Therefore, what is the total number of leaves? The total number of leaves is 50. What is the total number of prickles? 614. So what is the average number of prickles per leaf? It will be 614 over 50. Okay, it will give me a decimal number, 12.28. To the nearest whole number, it will be 12. Um, state two ways that he ensured he collected a representative sample. How to make sure that you have a good sample, that you have a sample that represents the actual leaves available. Number one, I took the leaves from five different trees, not only from one tree, but from five different trees. And number two, from each height, I took 10 leaves, not one leaf. I took 10 leaves from each height. Collect many leaves from each height, or 10 leaves from each height. Collect them from five different trees. Okay. Plot a line graph. Include a line of best fit. Line graph. Left side of the table is on the x-axis. Right side is on the y-axis. Since the numbers are equal interval, I will put them as they are. Here, I have from 1 till 18. So, I can put my scale from 0 till 20. Okay. Include a line of best fit. I put my scale. I put the scale on the x-axis. I drew my points. This is the pattern of points. It is scattered and it is decreasing. So, if he wants a line of best fit, I will use my ruler. To draw a line that passes through as much points as possible, having almost equal points on both sides. I have two points here, one point here. And please do not overextend the line. The line should end with the last point. Um, another holy leaf. Count and record the number of prickles. Count the number of prickles on the leaf. There will be a range. The range was from 16 to 18. So you can write it either 16, 17, or 18. Okay. Estimate the height. How can you estimate the height? I can estimate it from the table. Uh, in 18, the leaves that had 18 was at height 0 0.5. If you write 0 0.5 or if you write um, 1 meter, yani it's between 1 meter and 0 0.5. It will be correct. Okay? 0 0.5. Or uh, one meter. The last question leaves contain starch. What is the test for starch? Iodine solution. Positive result will be blue black. Okay. <laughs>